Hello everyone, I'm Satyajit and welcome back to my channel. You're watching the Python course playlist and today's video is on Python data structures. We shall be talking about dictionaries today. I hope you are already clear with the previous topics. If not, please go back to the videos in the playlist and study them. Link to the videos are already in the description below. If you're new to the channel, Please subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon to get notified on my future videos. In our previous videos, in terms of data structure, we started with understanding what a data structure is, what are lists, pulse sets, and today we shall be talking about what are uh, dictionaries. Now, once you are clear with the basic topics, then we can move ahead with the problem solving part. We will start from the easy level, then slowly, slowly, we will go to the advanced level. And as part of this particular program, this particular course, I'm expecting people who are completely new to this particular course, they will definitely have a very good transition from a beginner level, slowly to the intermediate level and slowly to the advanced level. So stay tuned and try to finish up this course as soon as possible. And yeah, try to follow my videos as well. And in future, yeah, I have a lot of plans to provide you statistics related materials, machine learning, deep learning, and a lot more thing. So let's get back to the topic. Uh, dictionary, we shall be talking about what is dictionary. It's an unordered collection of data. Data in dictionary is stored as a key value pair. Key should not be mutable and value can be of any type. Now the basic requirement is as we shouldn't be able to change a key. Once you provide a key, key is something like a primary key. You can assume it as a primary key. It has to be unique. So that is the reason as a key, you can use a tuple. You cannot use a list. So a dict is defined like this. Dict equal to something colon something comma something colon something. That means it will have two combinations of key value. One will be name being data, another will be age 10. So dictionary stores elements as keys and value pairs. The key is like an index. It's always unique and immutable. The values are the objects that contain the information. Like in this particular example in the fourth line, name is being data, age is 10. So value always carries the important information. Each key is followed by a value separated by a colon. The values can be immutable, mutable and duplicates. We don't care about the value part because it's information. I can also have an age of 10. You can also have an age of 10. My name can be Satyajit and your name can also be Satyajit. So each key and value pair is separated by a comma and closed inside a curly brace. So let's see how to access the keys and values in dictionary along with the different functions used. Let's go back to the Jupyter node. So I have already created a Jupyter notebook for our data structures dictionary. Let's quickly initiate a dictionary. Dict one equals to, I'll take some time to mention that, like to write down the code. So have some patience. Let's say I'm storing the country and the currency key value pairs. Now, obviously one country will have one currency right as simple as that that is the reason we'll have unique keys so india will not have a repetitive element it will not have another element there will be just one india so usa okay let i did some mistakes usa maybe usd france uh maybe not sure maybe euro you are so let's define it okay it was successful let's just print it very simple india inr usd sorry usa usd france and let's make it united states of america looks good actually yeah so india inr united states of america usd france europe now how to find the length of this dictionary we know the length uh, parameter length function or length method there are three different elements okay now let's say I want to access the value of India what is the currency of India so what I can do is I will have to just pass the key here if you pass the key it will give you the value as an output dict one of India it will give me INR so this is how you access the key so the access the values using key. Okay. Now what else? Let's try to replace the values. 
So let me create another dict here, dict two, maybe So let's say I have, uh, maybe let's not make it Pakistan, let's make it something else, Canada, let's make it Canada. So by mistake, what I have done is dict two of Canada, I have updated the dict or I have created the dict uh, using a wrong value. Canada, Canada's currency is actually CAD, right? Canadian. Uh, dollars so I have used US dollars in this so how to update it simple what you can do is dict 2 of Canada equals to CAD now again if I call the same same function see I can see the values has been changed let me just fire the entire dictionary India INR USA USD France Europe euros and Canada CAD Right. This is how you can replace the value. So let me write it down here. Replacing the values uh, for a particular key in a dictionary. Okay. Now, maybe I want to insert an, a, a parameter here in this particular dictionary, dict2. I want to insert one parameter. So what I can do is uh, maybe you can give me a country name Japan yen okay sorry my my mistake we have to define like this equals to yen okay so that was a mistake I'm sorry so now if I print the dictionary you can see there has been a new element added so dictionary works like when you go ahead with the machine learning or your deep learning or whatever your journey in the data science field, you will be mostly be acquainted by uh, using data frames. Now, data frames also works in this way. If you want to create a new column in a data frame, you also define like this column, then the value. So the values will be updated like this. Okay, very similarly, in dictionary, if you want to create a new key value pair, so dictionary of key, you can provide a new key equals to the value. That's where you create a new element. Let me write it down. Creating a new element or new, I would say new. It's not an element actually. It's, not, it's a key value pair, right? In the dictionary. What else? So creation is done, deletion is done. Uh, let's talk about sorting how to sort a dictionary let, let me just directly call the sorted function and see how it behaves now you can see canada india japan united states of america now i don't see this is sorted right because oh i'm sorry it's sorted yeah a b c then i then j then u right so this is how you can sort a dictionary my bad i was just thinking about something else so I couldn't really capture. I was thinking I should come before C, which was like, obviously it was wrong. Yeah, so sorted dictionary is working. See so sorted keyword basically sorts our dictionary based on the keys. Say I want to just, I want to just see the, I want to just see all the values in a dictionary. Let's say, I mean, it depends upon the problem statement as I told right but let's say in certain scenarios I just want to uh, store all the values in some uh, data structure maybe or in a data frames column so how to do that just try to call the values command dict to dot values see so dictionary values INR USD CAD EN now let me just show you dic dictionary as well so that you just have a look at it. So INR, USD, CAD and YEN. Simple, find the values, all the values from a dictionary. Okay, now let's say I want to find all the keys. Now these are operations I'm just teaching you so that you should be familiar with the keywords that dot keys or dot values or sorted or delete. 
just be familiar with these keywords and yeah these these kind of prerequisites or you can say the basics will definitely help us in uh, solving the advanced level problems right we cannot directly jump into the advanced topics because some of my subscribers might be experienced enough for them this video might be irrelevant but yeah i'm just more focused about people who are completely beginners i want to learn so if if you don't know anything about python definitely you can get started with this particular playlist or this particular course which i have launched so let's do dict to dot keys so i can i am able to see the keys so find all the keys from a dictionary by using keys operation let's say i want to now updation i i know that we can update using this replacing the values we can also use the update function also let me do it let's not do it there it will be a little bit confusing let me do it here dict to dot there is a update method update india let's say rupee something is wrong okay i have missed out the parenthesis which is okay there is no fun if you don't have any issues right now let's just print dict to see my values has been updated so you can either update update a value you can either update by this way or you can also update this way okay i have just commented it out so that in future you can just have a look at it so this is how your updation happens i think that should be more than enough for us to get started in dictionaries i would request you to go through these kind of methods there are a little more methods as well but yeah i mean for the time being these are more than enough for us to get started so that's it for today's video uh, the next videos will be on loops functions file handling exception handling and a lot more to cover so if you like the way i teach please like the video subscribe the channel i see that most of the viewers on this channel are not subscribed so please subscribe the channel press the bell icon if you want to get notified for further videos share this video among your friends and share this playlist among your friends who are who are new and who want to learn python from basics thank you all